Today you're going to receive a sheet where you are going to be working on exponents with problems very similar to these six that you see here with negative exponents similar to the two that I have here. Scientific notation problems similar to these two that I have here and then you'll be on the back side of it will be some equation work to solve. I won't be doing any equation solving on this video as I feel we've done quite a bit of that. This that will be just good review for you. Uh, if you get stuck with something, please uh, ask today's teacher or uh, ask your neighbor. All right, let's go back to our exponents review. This is something on the first quarter assessment show that showed we need to get a lot better at. So I'm going to start here with the uh, first column of numbers when we're multiplying uh, numbers that have the same base but different exponents. This first one says x to the fourth times x to the sixth. If I wrote this out the long way, I would have x times x times x times x for x to the fourth, and x to the sixth would read x times x times x times x times x times x. How many x's do you see here? There are 10 if you count all of them. Well, we, we discussed that actually we can use a shortcut with this. I can actually write out the long way and count them, or I can say, all right, I can say that the answer to this is actually equal to x to the 4 plus 6, so we add the exponents. So the actual answer to this then is x to the 10th. So we can add our exponents when we are multiplying numbers that have the same base. So a similar problem like that is the one directly below here. And on this problem, you'll see I have 3b to the 6th times 9b. This problem, when you have numbers written this way, we must rearrange the numbers. This is all multiplication property that's a commutative property says I can rearrange this to multiply them. So I would rearrange this to 3 times 9 times b to the 6th times b. 3 times 9, 27. When I have b to the 6th times b, this is a 6 here. What's the exponent that's up here? Even though there's not one up here, think for a second, the exponent there is actually what? That's correct. It's 1. So I will do b to the 6 plus 1, or b to the 7th. So these are two examples of problems that you'll be doing. You'll be adding the exponents because you have the same base. The middle column is when we do power to a power. This is something on the assessment that we really struggled with. Please pay close attention to this. I'm going to write a couple of these out the long way. Watch closely so you know what to do when you get to the four or five problems on the worksheet. n cubed raised to the fifth power. If I write this out the long way, I write n cubed times n cubed times n cubed times n cubed times n cubed. That means write that out five times. I have three. So now this is written like one of the problems right over here. x to the fourth times x to the sixth. We added the exponents. If I add these exponents, I get three plus three is six plus three is nine plus three is twelve plus three is fifteen. So I can write it out the long way and then I can add the exponents. And after I add all of them, I get that n to the 15th is the answer. Now, we did have a shortcut for that. What do you know about 3 and 5 and how they're related to 15? I can multiply them. So I can then use the shortcut if I'd like to, and I can say that this is equal to the n to the 3 times 5. And I can write that as that n to the 15th. You can do it either way. You will get the same answer. You can use a shortcut or you can write it out the long way. The next one down on the bottom, this is a problem that nearly all of you missed. And the reason that we missed it is if we write this out the long way, take a look at how this looks. The long way, this is 5m squared times 5m squared times 5m squared. How many fives do you see here? There are three of them. So I could do five, I could rearrange it and say it's five times five times five. And then I have m squared times m squared times m squared. And I have three of those. 
Now, when I put the terms together that are alike, when I put the numbers together, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. m squared times m squared times m squared. This is like our situation up here with the n cubes, or x to the 4th times x to the 6th. So add the exponents, 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's m to the 6th. And I can write this out the long way, and it works very well. What we had shown you for a shortcut was, is you distribute this cube to the 5 and to the 2, and you multiply those. I can do 5 cubed times m, and 2 times 3 is 6. Use your power to the power that we had up here. We'll multiply the two exponents together. The exponent on the number 5 is actually 1, and 1 times 3 is 3. 5 to the third power, as we multiplied a minute ago, is 125. And then I will have m to the sixth. You can work that either way. Make sure that if you have any questions when you're doing the worksheet, come back to the video, find the spot where I'm working these types of problems, and then try the problems on the sheet again. All right, the third column over here are division problems. Like, you know, you handled these very well on the assessments. I think in this, you'll do just fine again on the review. Over here, when we're multiplying them, you added the exponents. Division is the inverse operation or the opposite operation. So instead of adding the exponents, we will subtract. So I will do 8 minus 3. I will keep the base of A. And I say 8 minus 3, that is 5. So you subtract here. If I have a problem where I have 4y cubed over y, if I actually even had, let's say I had a number 2 here too. So I have 4y cubed divided by 2y. Do the numbers separately. 4 divided by 2, 2. y cubed divided by y. The exponent on y is what? 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, so I have y squared. Again, this you handle pretty well in the assessment. I think you'll do fine with the review on this. Next step, negative exponents. When we do our negative exponents, the negative here on the exponent reminds us that we need to, instead of multiplying by 10 five times, we are to divide by it. To show that division, we write this as 1 over 10 to the fifth power. So if you're asked to write something without a negative exponent and it looks like this, we'll write it as 1 over 10 to the fifth. We're dividing by that number. A straight exponent, plain exponent, it's a 10 to the fifth, you would multiply it five times. But when it's a negative exponent, it means divide by it. We show that division by writing it as a fraction 1 divided by 10 to the fifth power. If I don't have a number but I have a, a variable, then I'm just going to write it as 1 over w to the 4th. 1 over w to the 4th. There's about four problems on your review sheet on this. Last thing, scientific notation. Scientific notation did okay with, but let's do a brief review. Since I have 3.1 times 10 to the 3rd times 3 times 10 to the 4th, I will multiply the regular numbers together, 3.1 times 3. If I need a calculator, use a calculator. Be sure it's cleared out. And then you can just do your calculation. 3.1 times 3 gives me 9.3. So I will write down 9.3 times 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 4th. Same base. So I'll just add my exponents because I'm multiplying. And I write 10 to the 7th power. Your direction will then tell you on your worksheet that you need to write it in both scientific notation and standard notation. Take a look at this. Is this written in scientific notation? Yes, it is. The first number is between 1 and 10. I have multiplied by a power of 10. There I've got my scientific notation number, but I have not got a sign. I do not have a standard notation. For standard notation, we'll actually do this times 10 to the 7th. When you multiply by times 10 to the 7th, that means you're multiplying by 10 seven times. 
Anytime you multiply by 10, a decimal point will move to the right one space. I have a 7 here. That means this decimal point moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So the decimal moves 7 times because I've multiplied by 10 7 times. So after I move my decimal point, I'm going to fill in my zeros just to see how many zeros that I have. In this case, I've written 6. I want to rewrite the number that I have 9, 3, and then I have looks like 6 zeros, doesn't it? If I put my commas in, this is the number 93 million. Division. Dividing. Dividing being the opposite. Over here, I did 3.1 times 3. Well, I will do 15 divided by 3. Just kind of mentally break this apart into two pieces. 15 divided by 3 is 5. I'm going to have times. Now I have my exponents over here. And with division, we subtract them. 7 minus 11 is negative 4. So I have 10 to the negative 4. I must ask myself, is this number in scientific notation? Since it is, I have a 5, because that's between 1 and 10, and I've multiplied by 10 to a power. For standard notation now, I'm going to write the 5 down. And now a negative 4, to remind you, it means move the decimal to the left, because you are dividing by 4. When you multiply by 4, you moved it right. Dividing by 4 means you move it left. 4 spots, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm now going to write out my zeros in there. I'll put the decimal point there, and I have three zeros in front. So my standard notation looks like this, 0 0.005. All right, last reminder for you regarding scientific notation. If you get an answer that looks like this, 12 times 10 to the third power, this is not in scientific notation. This is not in scientific notation because this number 12 is not between 1 and 10. You need to change that. I would need to change that to 1.2 times 10. Now I need to figure out the power. On this problem over here, 12 times 10 to the third, the decimal point is right here after the 2. It's now been moved between the 1 and the 2. 3 tells me the decimal has to go three places to the right. When it was sitting here behind the 2, it had 3. I didn't move this decimal to the right, I moved it to the left. So since I moved it the wrong way, this will increase this exponent 1, and it will now be times 10 to the 4th. It was 3 sitting behind the 2, but now since I put it between the two numbers, it has increased the amount I have to do it uh, for my exponent by 1. Also be careful to take a look at when you're doing these exponents, that if you know if you have something like this, I get an answer that says point. My apologies, not point, but if I get an answer that says something like 12.34 times 10 to the negative 6. This is also not in scientific notation. 12, again, bigger than 10. I need to move that decimal point between the 1 and the 2. So it's got to come over here. That means I have to rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite 1.234. On this one now, I have moved the decimal the way I was supposed to. The exponent here says 10, 10 to the negative 6. That means move that decimal left. Well, I have moved it left 1 already. So now, instead of a negative 6 for the exponent, I will decrease by 1. And I will say, now I only have to move it five spaces to the left because I moved it the direction I was supposed to move it. These are two things to take a look for as you're still working with scientific notation. All right, I've taken up about 15 minutes of your time. Please make sure that you work well today. Make sure that you help one another, take care of what you're supposed to do. Leave the room clean. If you have any questions, you may look at a laptop and get a laptop out and look at this video. It is on my website under Linear Algebra Notes under the heading Review Videos. All right, thank you. Good luck. Have a good day today. I'll see you when I get back.